Here are two flow shakes you can use in your edits right now. Before adding shakes, I usually add some scale or position movement. And to hide motion tile, add optics compensation, turn on reverse lens distortion, and keyframe the FOV. First, add three adjustment layers and turn them to your clip. On the bottom adjustment layer, add S underscore dissolve shake, keyframe dissolve percent, and set it to around 30 to 40%. Set dissolve speed to five and set both amplitude and frequency to eight. Open the X shake dropdown and set X rand amp to 35. Open Y shake and adjust Y Rand amp based on your clip. I kept it lower from my clip because there wasn't much wide movement. Then open Z shake and set Z Rand amp to 60. Go further down the clip to where you want the shake to end and keyframe dissolve percent back to zero. Easy ease the keyframes and use a loose graph like this. Also mess with the seed value until you get a shake you like. On the top adjustment layer, add the wiggle position preset. Set wiggle speed to 10 and wiggle amount to 6. On the middle adjustment layer, add blur. You can use camera lens blur or Gaussian blur. Set a keyframe at the star and increase the blur. Then move forward and set it to 0. Easy ease the keyframes and use a fast graph. For the second flow shake, add one adjustment layer and apply S underscore shake. Set amplitude to 3 and frequency to 17. Open the X and Y shake dropdowns. Set X rand amp to 190 and Y rand amp to 95. Keyframe amplitude at the start of the clip, then go to the end and set it to 0. Easy ease the keyframes and copy this graph. And that's it. Those are two flow shakes you can use in your edits right now. Make sure to join my Discord and subscribe. And thank you for watching.